Hello movie lovers, welcome to another video. This is a Ghanaian production produced in Ghana, directed by a Ghanaian and it was shot right here in Ghana. So me bisa me hose, ah, if we have this production in Ghana, if we can do something like this in Ghana, why now so many people don't even know about this particular movie yet? The film was premiered last month on the Independence Day, but it is still streaming on Showmas because it is an Aquaba Magic production. Aquaba Magic actually commissioned the director and the production house to do this project. Today we are going to watch the trailer and also I'm going to tell you my honest opinion about this project, The Queen of Accra. Hello. Before we go on, I want to say a very big thank you to you out there for welcoming me to the Maghreb family. And also I want you to help me say a very big thank you to my boss for giving me this platform. So basically, you know, the story is around the ancient Ghan or the ancient Accra. How uh, the first woman king, Dudaka, she, she became a king. How that story unfolds, you know, that is what they've been able to modify, modernize, and tell it through this film. Obviously, it will not be easy because telling such an Asian story requires the director and the production team to think deep about it. How they will costume the people, how they will do the setups, their location, their choice of language and everything was put in consideration. The story is very unique because telling our history is not any folk tale and yet story I will be at Nasidina creating. This is history and therefore if you want to tell it, there are certain things you don't have to miss. You have to get it right. So her trailer now, man, shut down who known faces baby woman I say more of the Ghana actors and actresses, no more of them a womb. But still, the film has this rich quality. If you see the trailer, if you see the film, and you know, say, okay, this is it. This is, this is acceptable. What I say, this is an industry standard production. I saw Ajit Anna in there, and also I saw Melissa Note. If you don't know Melissa Note, she's a dancer with the DWP Academy. <laughs> I can't talk about this film without mentioning the picture quality. Even though it is 1080p on YouTube, the picture quality is incredibly good. As a mainstream Hollywood production, it is one thing to plan a movie. It is another thing to execute your plan and let your plan reflect so that whoever is watching it will see that, okay, a lot of planning went into this. And I must tell you, that's what I see in the Queen of Accra. I'm sure they obviously used good cameras and the shots are also good. Carefully planned, carefully plotted, and carefully delivered. No blurry scenes, super, super, super sharp images. Kudos to the cinematographer on this project. <laughs> Osher trailer now, you can obviously see it's an epic movie. So Osher, their line of costuming, Oh, hey, the props album you see in the film now. It doesn't take a genius to say, say, okay, this was carefully planned. And I said, this was carefully executed. All my year, Jumano, and I'm watching it. I kind of feel like I'm looking, I'm, I'm watching some form of Hollywood movie. And I say, Hollywood directors been a bad guy. About a year, Jumano. And the sound quality is also good. The vocals, the sound scoring, the mixing is on point. And I found some behind the scenes videos when they were shooting this film. You can see that the cast and crew had to travel miles from their hotel to their location. They had to walk through water to reach to the exact location they want to shoot the film. And they shot some in Dansuman, they shot some in the Volta region, some in other parts of Accra. Maybe also some. Seeing this project and knowing that it is coming from Ghana, I kind of feel like 
We should now begin to clear the ideology, say Ghana for you to me produce good movies. I think we should rather look at the fact that then, 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 that you consider we can be able to make good films like this because this is an industry standard. From the story to the director to the cinematographer to the sound gaffer to the PS on set. They knew exactly what they were doing. And they delivered. The director of this movie is William Kojagbeti, normally or a cinematographer. He was the one behind Azali. He did the camera works and the cinematography works for Azali. He directed this particular movie, The Queen of Accra. And he also handled the camera as well. He did the cinematography on this project as well. You can see that Oyobia was swear there. What he has here. So applying all those knowledge from his previous jobs, he has made this one to its maximum point. And I salute him for that. This is an incredible production right here in Ghana, and we are not even seeing it. Whoever edited this movie knows what he's doing. Like I said, I love the job. So if I see someone doing it and they are doing it well, I salute them. The only thing I expected from them, which they didn't do, is the fact that they did not put in much effort to promote this movie. The movie is released last month on the Independence Day, that's 6th of March. But a few people have seen it and a few people have heard of it. It's been one month now and yet the movie is not traveling as far as it should. It looks like they did not factor promotion into their budget. And if it happens like that, you only do the film, but it doesn't go anywhere. This is a very good film. I expect the producers of this film to put in more effort to promote the film. Because if they do that, I believe this film is going to cross borders and enter the international market. One thing that makes this movie incredible is the fact that it was shot in Ghana and they subtitled the movie in English. So, so won't take us an import. at least you can read the subtitle and understand what they are saying. From the director's point of view, they used the Ghana language because the ancient Accra, you won't hear them speaking any other language aside the Ghana. So definitely, if you want to tell the story and represent the story in its perfect manner, you need to adapt the native language and they delivered. From a filmmaker's point of view, I can tell you that they invested a whole lot into equipment and post-production. They used the right cinematographers, the right sound guys, the right crew members for the job. So every department did their best and in all, it became a masterpiece. That's what you are watching and you are enjoying. And I want thing I'm a person I can to want to say, gone are the days I never say we you see stars. When you see stars, I will move in the end talk and I say we move in the end shit. A term. Right now, a day amount for she a picture quality. A day amount for she a sound. A day amount for a she right now. It's how you put out the story. Obibe to make a movie, clean shots, clean sound, very good editing, but story no name yet. And so amount for better. Because what you are watching and what you are seeing is what will keep you glued to the screen as compared to say, oh, these stars be and as a known faces. Or mu mu a yeah. But looking at this project, I can see Ajete Anand, I can see Melissa. A few of them are here, here some projects, but they are not that star, star, star to say they're most people are expecting. But then this film can cross borders. This film can do better as compared to the other um, stars we bring here. So go on where the days are near dream, say, say star any movie more any year. No, right now, senior human assistant. What I say, if you want to do it, you do it well. And then we will applaud you. Senior Midi Kain Kain, the movie was premiered last month on the Independence Day. And it is streaming on Showmax as we speak. If you don't have a Showmax account, you can get it and watch. All in all, The Queen of Accra is a massive project. It's a very good film that I recommend each and everyone watching to check it out after this video. Please like this video. Please share this video and kindly subscribe to this channel. I'll be bringing you more film reviews, more news about movies and films that are being done in Ghana and also Africa.
Thank you so much for watching. My name is Steve Nadeo Jr.